In September 2004, I had a CSRT proceeding. I did not have a lawyer in this proceeding. At the CSRT, they said I was an enemy combatant because my friend Seljuk Bilgin had committed a suicide bombing. I couldn't believe this. I did not think Seljuk was crazy. Thought we all know, we all now know the charge was false. I couldn't prove this to the CSRT. I was all alone in Guantanamo and without access to any information about the outside world. There was no legal process at Guantanamo that would allow me re really challenge my detention. Going through the CSRT, I know that they were just trying to say that it was okay to, to detain me. They were not looking for the truth. They were not looking for the truth. I also now know that both the U.S. government and the German government knew I was innocent as early as 2002. My American lawyer has submitted these documents pro proving, the, proving this to the committee, and I argue you to review them. Even though I was innocent, and even though both governments knew I was innocent, I spent almost five years in American prison camps. As my story demonstrates, it is not the existence of a security threat that keeps someone in Guantanamo, because there was no law in Guantanamo. In order to be released, I needed to have a country that would fight for my release for too long. There was no country that would do that. The German government for years refused to claim, to claim me because they considered me a Turkish citizen. The German government even tried to revoke my German residency while I, while I was in Guantanamo. Also, I did not have a strong connection to the Turkish government since I lived in whole life in Germany. I was not a refugee and couldn't have returned to either of these countries. Instead, I was left behind waiting for politicians to do the right thing for me. I think that was eventually released because of the work of my lawyer in the U.S. and in Germany to prove the German public that I was innocent and to pressure the new German government to negotiate, to negotiate for my release. If there had been any law in Guantanamo, I would obviously have been released much earlier. I believe my story, with some variations, is true for many in Guantanamo today. Often people were released because their countries demanded it. Others remain because their countries do not demand their return or because they are afraid to be returned. My imprisonment in Kandahar and Guantanamo was a nightmare. I did nothing wrong and was treated like a monster. There was no law in place or judge to consider my story, how I called this happen in the 21st century. I grew, up in Germany, I grew up in Germany learning about the crimes of European countries and how the Americans helped to teach the Germans about the rule of law after World War II. I might expect a something like Guantanamo to be developed by a poor, tyrannical or ignorant country. I never could have imagined this place would be created by the United States of America. Since my release, I have spoken about my ordeal with many people in different countries – Germany, Belgium, France, UK, Ireland, Sweden. My impression is that they all were deeply disappointed that this is, uh, that this is being done Americans and angry at America for not living up to its own standards. They all supported the U.S. after 9-11, but now they criticize the U.S. for its hypocrisy 
and for ignoring the law. I worry about some of those other detainees who are in their seventh year at Guantanamo. No human being can endure this treatment and, isola and isolation. I know that what was done to me cannot be undone. But I also know that there are steps that the U.S. should take to uh, that the U.S. should take to and find a solution for those who are still in prison there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.